In this video, we will talk how to use the fitting technique in order to repair a plot. And this plot is such that a saturation limit is reached for the detection of our sample. Now, we know that uh, there is uh, one way to dilute our sample and do the measurement again. But if, for example, we are not having that option and we are only left with only to go on with this data, then how to correct this data? Let me start with this one. First, select this one and go to Analysis and then Fitting and open the Fitting dialog. Now, inside this Fitting dialog is the shape of the plot is Gaussian so I will select the Gauss fitting and then I will start with this and I will do till end and it has done with the iteration but with this iteration you see there is a problem that it has fitted the portion only up to here this was supposed to go like this and then down so it is not a reasonable peak so what we do here that in order to correct this one i am not selecting this fit but i go to the data and here i click that what point is this one so this point is approximately 375 i go to 375 and here I see that the data has almost been repeated here so this data has almost been repeated so what I do I just delete these data points means from here to here I delete these data points and now they are deleted and as I delete it then I see that my plot is like this now I will go to the fitting again so fitting and the nonlinear fit and then I go to the open dialog in here I select the course and now I just run it once okay but first we will have to select our plot as the plot is selected analysis fitting then nonlinear fit open dialog and here i select my gaussian function and i double click this one and then i start reiterating this one and it has done till the end because the convergence has reached and then I said OK. Now I can see that this fit is far better than the previous one and almost the peak which was supposed to be at this point has been reached. Now I can further improve this one a little bit. Okay, this one. Uh, I can further improve this one from here that it is supposed to be a little up so I can do like this that I just go to the data and from here I just copy the data see and I come here and just put my data in this column and I say paste it and now I can make this one is the x-axis the purpose of putting the data in here because we cannot vertically translate this peak is the data has been considered as locked here so come here and now plot this data and here is the plot now I can clearly see that the data points are the play card, the experimental and this is the fit. Now one way is if it is experimentally okay then we can only consider the fit. 
if it's not then i will click here for example somewhere here there is a problem in the experimental value and the fitting value so if i will be calculating the full width at home maximum then it will be different so i will have to select this one and as both are selected so i will have to first ungroup it then click here and go to analysis manipulation and vertical translate and now in vertical translate i will have to move it a little bit up and now this one is up a little bit but we will have to coincide it with some points here and then i can exactly you say i remove this one and then click here again and go to analysis as i see here that here this one is not exactly matching as it is here so i will have to consider a little bit middle value and now go to fitting and then non-linear sorry so i will have to go to analysis data manipulation and then horizontal translate and here i move it slightly and now it seems that the points are okay so i remove this one and now these two are okay i can just zoom it and now the points are comparatively better so i can take the data from this point to that point from the plotting so what i do i just come here and come to the data and now here i will have to change the take the values from here now the values i select two columns and now from here the data points were according to let me note those data points and those data points were if i click here on this then i will have to take the last blake data point which is roughly this one or uh, let me convert let me convert or only plot this one from which i have removed the data so they to exactly locate the points select these two and plot it and they are here so the points which were here was 374.5 and the point which is here is 384 so i will have to take this much data from there let me delete this one and now go on with the data and i will have to take the point from 374 here so first select the data up to here so 374 point this and select this one copy this one and paste it here so this is 3755 and we go from this data onward to 384 and this is 384 so we take the next point will be in our experiment is 384.5 so we take it up to here and control c and we paste our data here at the end of this data we and now we come back to our profile here and this is 384 and we select the data here okay better we select from 384.5 see and now i go to here and paste it make this one is x and now i can plot this and this one and it is 
here so you can see now that the data which was in this range which was missing we are having the data with us let me change the shape of this one and let's say we make this one with a line plot and here we are thank you for watching